One, two. On stage is in Sunny Music Group with some entertainment interludes. Wow. 
na pray kwa wana karibuni sana asante sana kwa kuwa hapa kwa condone the family as well so dj you may just a minute na karibu sana yangu na it's good to see you today sani god bless you for the wonderful job that you are doing family please come and join sani it's a family of singers by the way this is a beautiful family God bless you so much as you get encouraged and comforted today. Kazi cho 
Asoza tumekaribishwa kujoin na ndio mmekutwa simama simama uweze kusalabrate na uweze kuimba tumekaribishwa nyota kujoin ukiamua kufanya kama utakavyo ulipo na uenda na wao kama unajoin join that is the spirit amen and the family as well as you remember your dear dad your dear mom
Amen. Shall we say amen? Mimi kifika mbinguni I will appeal to God to include ugali in the menu. Na nyama kidogo. Yeah, 
Sida Pekembo sitaweza Kufika Yerusalemi Amen. As Pastor Joseph approaches, Pastor Joseph, please be coming. You can be walking here so that we save time. Pastor Joseph at Lomokel. We can join in the song. We can join in the song. Tunaweza jumuika kwa wimbo. Pastor Joseph, please come. Uh, if pastor is not here, is there any other pastor who can come here and pray to welcome uh, to welcome Pastor Dan Massey? Amen, amen. Shall we say a big amen? Amen. Amen, amen. We don't have to be so sad. We can rejoice in the singing. Wangapi wanasema amina kwa sababu ya hiyo huduma ya nyimbo. Amen. Pastor Josephat Lemokol anaenda kukaribisha Pastor Dan Masi atatuombea aseme jambo alafu amkaribisha mwenzake. Mungu akubariki Pastor. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I want to take this opportunity to convey my family, my personal and family condolences to this family and the entire church and the group just up from all the way from Nairobi, Eldoret, some Naguru, some Nairobi and other parts of this country. Um, I'm Pastor Joseph Tolomokel. I'm the new pastor here. In fact, I was I was Niliana Jana. So I'm a new pastor. And uh, in a very special way, 
welcome to this uh, Matanga. Though it was not our, on our program, we are living in a world where people are lifting without accepting. Uh, when we see the world of today, you will wonder what will follow next. But uh, the good news is that we people of God know that we have a future. Praise the Lord on that. And that future is only centered on Jesus Christ. And when we are in Jesus, that's the hope we, we have. Kiangalia mse huyu, ni mse ambaye mutu angetamani aseheke, ila wese kufuraya maisha watoto yake. Lakini because of sin, we don't have any alternative. But we have at one point to live. And that living should mean that if we know we are living, then we don't have other, other option but to accept Jesus as our personal Savior. Nataka niseme pole sana kwa sababu ya kulala wa baba huyu. Mze ya damana. Mze ambaye amefanya jenya lewesa. Hata anapo lala pale na mshukuru Mungu kwa umbali ambao ameongoza mzee huyo. Kwa hii dunia una lingine. Hata kama uko mrembo kiasi gani itafika siku utaseeka. Na hata ukicheka watu wanafikiria unalia. In life lazima ujue things change. Upende usipende. Naye kuna watu wanafikiria they are permanent. Wanajipaka vitu hapa uso lakini ukiangalia mguu inasema 65 years. There is no shortcut in life. Nadadali kuambia ili uelewe kabisa unapoishi katika dunia hii. Can you prepare yourself for eternity? Amen. Ujakuja kujesa hapa maisha hakuna maisha apart from this one. Ishi msuri kwa hii Na ukimaliza ya hapa, ishi katika maisha mazuri kule mbinguni. Amen. Amen. Ilikuwa mchungaji wa mzenya beta na dada yangu Sara amba alitangulia kulala. Mwaka wa 95-96, mzee akatawa uwanja, mwali kanisa ni mejengwa. Lakini tena saidi ya hapo, wakati pinti wao Ruth, alikuwa afanya rusi, mzee alisema ya kwamba, Toto wangu hata fanya harusi kwa sababu sisi atukufanya tungependa pastor tuunganishe. Kwa hivyo nikawaunganisha katika ndoa yao kabla sijaondoka. Amina. Na hata hivyo e, mzee huyu alioa kutoka kwetu. Dada Sara alikuwa ni my cousin. So nikija hapa tulikuwa tunafurahia. Na pia kijana wake wili ameoa E, kutoka kwetu Rose Rose Moni ametoka e, kwetu nyumbani hata kuna watu ametoka kule Nyabomo e, Mungu na Mora ambaye ni yako raia yenyewe na obara ya Alimaria so ninge taa kuajia fungu moja katika kitabu cha Isaya 41 fungu la 10 e, ningependa kuajia fungu moja familia hii ya Nyabeta Eh, ni familia ambayo hata watoto wangu ni marafiki zao. Kitabu cha Isaya 41 fungu la 10. Msiogope kwa maana niko pamoja nanyi. Msifadhaike kwa maana mimi ni Mungu wenu. Nitawashika mkono, nitawasaidia mkono wa kuume wa haki yangu. Mungu awafariki, Mungu awafariki, Mungu asitikua nanyi. Tamesema mimi ni pastor Givinji. Shughuli yangu katika GRVC ni department ya vijana department ambao tumekuwa na sister Gladys kwa muda kabla 2019 sisi wote tena tulipo enda katika inchi ya Amerika kwa sababu ya kufanya mikutano huko hata wakati mama anapumzika bado nilikuwa huko sikuweza kuattend mazishi ya mama lakini nilipopata taarifa ya kwamba baba amelala Nikaseme ya kwamba nitaacha yote tumekuwa kwenye mikutano ya stewardship nikasema nitaacha yote 
ili niweze kuja kuungana na familia ya mzee Nyabeta pamoja na waombolezaji wengine at least kuja kusema lala salama baba yetu kwa hivyo nimeheshimu sana msichana huyo wake Gladys ametufanyia kazi kubwa sana katika conference yetu both katika children ministry department na tena katika youth ministry department kazi ambayo ameifanya haingeniruhusu wapendwa niweze kuketi chini na kuendelea na shughuli zingine ni wakati niliamua nikuje nisimame na familia hiyo familia nasema pole sana maandiko inasema ya kwamba siku zetu hapa duniani ni sabini peke yake 90 10 sums siku zetu ni sabini tukiwa na nguvu tukimpenda Mungu kama tutaepukana na raha za dunia hii kama tutaepukana na mapombe ya dunia hii tutaenda thamanini na kwenda zaidi mzee huyo Mungu amempa amempa neema kiasi ya kwamba yeye hakukwamia sabini yeye ameenda na miaka themanini na nne na ndio napenda wakati ambapo ile bana imewekwa pale inaposema celebrating hii ni celebration tumekuja kuselebrate sujaa wa imani ambaye amelala akiwa ndani ya Yesu Kristo Mungu awabariki Amen. Asanteni wachungaji, Mungu awabariki. Baba njoo mimi nenye sai wa kile. Wa kile we are. We have come to celebrate. To celebrate Clement Nyabeta on Saligo, a man who knew Jesus Christ. And uh, it's very important that we know with whom we are resting. Amen. Ni muhimu kujua unapumzika na nani. It's important to know who is your friend. Somebody says, show me your friend and I tell you your character. On Saligo was a friend of Jesus Christ. Amen. And today I want to tell you the story of this true and faithful friend. Yesu Rafiki wa Lazaro. Yesu Rafiki wa Marita. Yesu Rafiki wa Mary. Yesu Rafiki wa Gladys. Yesu Rafiki wa Ruth. Hello. Yesu Rafiki wa Akina Nyabeta hawa madada wa Rembo akina Edna what about na wajua. I came to know Edna in 1999. Tukijianda kwenda Marekani and somehow embassy kasema kwamba wewe ka kidogo ili utunze mzee wacha kina Gladys waende kina Ruth waende wengine waende stay behind that it can be with mzee Clement amen? amen and take care of mrs clement today morning i went with my wife elizabeth tumeenda paka pale kuona mahali ambapo mama alipumzika and i can see they prepared a place where mzee is going to rest but the best place to rest is only in jesus christ the game changer amen amen jesus, jesus christ is the game changer one who is altogether so lovely the fairest among 10000 so many amen alikuwa akitembea na wanafunzi wake now pastor you have to be reading from the book of john chapter 11 yesu akiwa na marafiki zake wanafunzi walikuwa wanatembea na kidogo akapata sms kwamba your friend lazarus is unwell yesu being the african being the omonyage thing he was akaenda taratibu tu taratibu taratibu wanafunzi wanasema uh, tuliona kama sms inaingia akasema yes sms imeingia na rafiki yetu lazaro hajisikii vizuri na ugua After some time Jesus akajua kwamba Lazaro amekufa and uh, he told his friends Lazarus is asleep asleep wanafunza kusema if he is asleep no problem labda ni kwa sababu ya jet lag unajua kitoka huko Washington state ukikija hapa 
uh, Kenya unakuwa na jet lag sasa ile watu wanataka ku kuamka wewe unaenda kulala sometimes you greet them and tell them ha, good morning this evening how is uh, uh, Seattle habari yako Washington DC habari yako Washington state and so on and so forth they told him kama anapumzika atakuwa uh, vema uh, he'll, he'll be okay atamuka usingizi uh, itamwacha you never know which bed bugs are in his uh, bed one of them that bites so seriously will bite and he'll be awake jesus told him akamwambia uh, wanafunzi no our friend lazarus actually is dead and behold who says let's go and die with lazarus it's thomas the doubter amen Thomas ambaye alikuwa mtambaye ni wa doubt is the one who says twende tufe na Lazarus I think he knew where to die if you must die die in Jesus Christ usiniginie kwa kamba usijilipue kichwa because your frustrations kwa sababu ya depression halafu una give up die in Jesus because when you die in Jesus you are actually only sleeping and you are, when you sleep you are taking a nap and when you take a nap it will be okay in a little while amen fungo la 11 pastor ebutsome that's 11 chapter 11 yes these things he said and after that he said to them our friend lazarus sleeps but i go that i may wake him up this time i said go on then his disciples said Lord he be sleeps he will get well however Jesus spoke of his death but they told that he was speaking about taking rest in sleep When I began I said Jesus is the game changer Yesu ni yule ambaye anakutana na dada yake Lazarus wakati ambapo watu wamemkamata akiwa katika hali mbaya wakati wa mkutano ya makambi mzee wa kanisa badlea ku organize uh, mambo yaende vizuri aka organize Mary vibaya and aka put Mary in the family way baadaye wanakamata Mary na kumleta kwa Yesu na kusema kwamba uh, hii sampuli ya wanawake ambao wanapatikana katika uzinzi Musa aliamuru wavurumishiwe mawe wapigwe wawawe what does Jesus say anakamata laptop yake anabonyeza bonyeza dambi za hao wananchi zinaanza kuonekana zinaanza kuonekana and he says yule ambaye ndio wa kwanza ambaye atatenda dambi hii arushe jiwe la kwanza ampige huyu Maria auwe Mary meanwhile is trembling like a reed in the wind when Jesus straightens himself up everybody wakianza na ile omorisia omonene mzee mkubwa kabisa ametangulia wengine wanafuata ni vumbe peke yake anaona and while she's trembling jesus asks je hakuna liko hukumu mary says no one sir neither do i condemn you go and sin no more kwa sababu jesus christ's beatings are his enablings when he says don't sin you are no longer going to sing as long as you stay in him this mary alikuwa dada yake Lazarus this is the mary ambaye yesu aliokoa this is the mary who had a brother that had died jesus christ if you are here mzee clement nyabeta on saligo could not be in that little box he could actually be dancing together with us but thank god when he died he was in jesus christ i went with my wife one sabbath evening to go and see our friend Edna but before that prior to that tuko tumeenda kumuona mzee and he was talking of things education he is an educationist na alipenda kuzumuza mambo ya elimu i only wish that other educationists walimu walio karibu wangeliga mfano wa huyu mzee ambaye alipenda kazi ya walimu hata akiwa katika his deathbed he was talking about education elimu katika Kenya inaendeleaje who mtaala wa elimu unaendeleaje labda kiboko irudi kidogo lakini msitie kiboko kiwe kikali sana mzee was talking he was intelligent he was bright he was vibrant too yes i saw him i talked with him 
And then one night, Edna says, Mze is gone. I couldn't rest. I had to leave. Go and see. How is Edna doing? With whom is she? Mpaka Pali Fountain Hospital. Mara moja ni kashika simu. Kampigia Pastor ya Edna. Pastor Moses Kiblagat Arab Kwech. And I'm very glad he's a vibrant young man. Nikijana mzuri sana. He came running. Kidogo akapita mali hospital yiko. Tuka mambia hey. Hebu geuka akakuja. And he was there. I think it's important to have a good friend when you are sick, even when you are dying. And the best friend to have is Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. And so Jesus comes. And what does the Bible say in 11 verse 35? I think it's the shortest scripture in the Bible. Simon Ajua. Yes, Akakoraki. Akarera. And Jesus, what? Why was he weeping? He who is the owner of life, the author of life, the very life itself. Why did he weep? He was weeping for men and women like you, ambao, bado, hamjatambua, uhakika, wauzima, wamelele, uliondani Yesu Christo. He was weeping for those people who were only seeking to murder, to kill the savior of the entire universe, the savior of the whole world. Jesus was weeping for them. Jesus is weeping for you. I had uh, an old mze by the name Simonjera. Simonjera was an old man. Alikuwa na watoto wenga mbao wa mezao. Alikuwa na shamba kubwa. But alikuwa omorogi. Munajua omorogi? Yani, anamali, anashamba kubwa, lakini ni muchawi. Omorogi. Muchawi. Yes, you vocabulary in Anishinaka Sazungine. And so my grandmother would tell us, hey, Mukitembea, Chunga Mzeti Monjera. Now Muki, Hatukwa Navio Vinga Sana, I'm happy this home has very many restrooms. Koyo was sister to Kyo Atoto Adobo, Trikona Tembena Shati, too, Hata Suralia, I was in class two. Nili Jifunza Kuvaki Nyasa Chakwanza in Kyo class three. And so it's Natembea, too. Mambo, you can't stress, Unata to Mahali, you don't have to, and Mambi Nash. So grandmother would say, Simonje, akipata kama mefanya hiyo, atapanda vitu flani hapo na utakufa. So we were really afraid. We would make sure we use grandmother's toilet. Because if you go anywhere, Simonje, we will disorganize you. So when Simonje was dying, alikufa vibaya sana. Watoto wake wanaenda kwake, mzee analia. Hey, mnajua mumbori? Eh, mimi ndio niroga yeye, ndio asizae. Eh, mnajua fulani? Mimi ndio niroga yeye. Eh, mnajua fulani? Mimi ndio niroga yeye. I, what you talk about? This is too much. Wakachukua kitamba, I remember. A white uh, kitamba. Wakafunika mudoma yake na mapua yote. I do not know whether Mzeti Mwanjaira died from the disease or whether he died from asphyxiation. You know, I can't believe you are Mzee. Because the Bible says, I don't know how many people are going to die. I don't know how many people are going Mutakufa style kama ya simonjera. It's not a very good style of dying. Hey, are we together? Yeah. And from what we say like simonjera, we say goodbye. Because we may never see them again. But for Amze, like Clement Nyaveta Onsarigo, we say goodnight. After all, when you take a nap in the morning, what do you do? You wake up. So, Mze Clement, good night. We want to meet in the morning. And so... Jesus Christ, ndiyo huyo, anasema, munionyeshe mali kaburi laki liko. And as he nears the place, he says, open it. Umbu zake lazaro, anasema, no. By now, there is an old world. He is thinking. He has been there four days. Why would Jesus wait till four days? Because babu watu walikuwa nasema kwamba, mutu akifa, it takes about three days. Nyoroho, it took and done yake, it ended. So Jesus adds one more day. Yani, yonekane, amekufa kabisa, kabisa. Ndiyo, akimfufua, amfufue kabisa, kabisa. Amen? And Jesus goes there. He says, remove the stone. Wakatoa jiwe. And there are so many maways in our life. There are some people 
who are standing in the way of you and Jesus Christ. And Jesus commands, Ondoa hilo jiwe la ubinafsi kiburi na mambo kadha wa kadha. Tafadhali usiwe kizuizi cha watu kumwona Kristo ambaye ndiye uzima wa milele. And so Jesus comes there. And what does he do? He shouts, Lazarus, wake up! And Lazarus comes forth. Amefungwa na vitamba vya kuzimu, vitamba vya kaburi. Jesus had to be specific. He had to resurrect Lazarus by calling his name. He didn't just say, wake up. Because there will be a lot of popping around, you know, poop. Very many graves would begin popping up as Lazarus wakes. Very many others would be waking up the way Obaba does. You know what Obaba is? Bobat? Yes, Bobat. Obuob. Sisi tu na ingine nito Obwangala maati Obukufuma Obukusa nesema Bukusuma I think Wuzukuma. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it well. But Different kinds of Obwaba. They, they, they would be able to pop up. And so Lazarus, the true Obwaba, came up because Jesus had pronounced his name. Amen? Amen. Does Jesus know your name? Do you know the voice of Jesus Christ? Unaitaji kuzea sauti ya Yesu Christo. Kwa sababu, itahibidi ujue accent yake. Atakapoita, done! I should be able to come up and say, Oh yes, master, I'm here! Otie nunga yode! Antieka. Hello? Yes. Jesus knows your name, man. By the way, you know, that will not be your name. I mean, who wants to go into heaven? Nagiza. Because Otieno means darkness. Usiku. He's going to change your name. Yeah. Jesus had to change the name of very many people. Like Jacob, the supplanter, into Israel. Like Saul, into Paul. God needs to change your name. He has to change your name from Wamalu to something else. Yes. Really? You cannot go with Nyandigis as a name to heaven. So Jesus has to change your name and he called out Lazarus. I want Jesus to call out your name. Clement! And he wakes up and says, Yes, Master, here I am. And I'm here with my beloved one. She slept a few seconds before me, but we are together. And here's my daughter, Gladys, my daughter, Ruth, my son, so and so, and Edna. They're here, all of them. They've been living in Canada, but I'm glad they're here. They've been living in the United States, in Iraq, and wherever. But Jesus, thank you, because I'm with them in this land that flows with milk and honey. And uh, oh, Kima, if somebody was here. He wants Jesus to change the menu of heaven. By the way, there'll be something better than Obokima. <laughs> there'll be something in heaven more than Amoruran. Yeah, there'll be something in heaven more than Onsinzi. I know some of us don't know what Onsinzi is. Onsinzi is Chintuga. Ah. <laughs> I'm telling you, you need to know the vocabulary of Jesus Christ. In Aitaji Ujua Harufi Yesu Christo. In Aitaji Ujua Sautiake. Deepa the Kapo Ita. Udazema. Here I am, O Lord, receive me. For that's what he says. So don't, like the, don't die like the hopeless. And I'm glad. Wakati Lazarus alipotoka ndani ya kaburi, watu alimuona, akapiga story na hao, mambo ya kawaida. I think, kama wangeli muunisa, huku hiko na muna gani? Says, wapi? Umalu umetoka. Kwa ni umetoka wazi? You know, he was simply asleep. He was in a land where... There are no dreams, there are no visions. You simply rest. It's a nap. In the twinkling of an eye, a reflex action. Amen? Amen. Yes. So, Babu, ya mze huyu, amba lala miaka mingi liopita. Baba yake, amba lala miaka mingi liopita. Pamoja na yei, na hata vituku, yake, ikiwa, wataenda kabla yesu kurudi. There'll be nothing like, oh, huyu amekufa, amekaka, burini sana, miaka mingi. There's no difference. Because those who died 5,000 years ago and those who are dying today and tomorrow, when Jesus comes and calls, it's like they have just slept all of them together a moment ago. 
And here they are, again, healthy and alive. But you must know Jesus Christ. Because when you don't know him, utakufa. But in, when you know him, who is a kufa, you simply rest. And uh, I just want to show you one way. The way of Jesus Christ. This is just supposed to be a devotion. And so, one man got lost on his way. He was going to a certain city. But on the way, he got lost. This morning, my aunt Zipora was coming to my place. And she got lost at Marain. So, Nkamambia, auntie, wait for me at Marain. So we went home and we came together. Say, Jesse Paul, I love you. Yep. And I'm saying this. And I'm saying this. He got lost in a place called Utah. Nakaenda kwa mwenye shamba. Mzee, tumepotea mina family yangu. Tunaenda maliflani. Uye mzee, akawangalia, kasema sasa, kwele mepotea, lakina mjapotea sana. Enda tuna hii, mjiwa mbofu mbofu hii, hii panya root. Alafu mtafika maliflani, kuna forest kuubwa. Pita uo msitu. Na baadi ya msitu, mutawana kuna cemetery upande wa kulia na upande wa kushoto. Pita tu katikati ya cemetery. Musipita kando. Peter took at Katia Cemetery because that's the way. Allow me to go pick a Mujer Cemetery, turn right. And as you turn right, you will see a highway as smooth as pavement can be. Amen. Umoga Koito, Tato Ito, Clement, as he rests, he's going to pass through the cemetery. But when Jesus calls, he'll be on the right-hand side of the road, the pavement that goes only to New Jerusalem. And you should be ready to go with him to the city, the New Jerusalem, where the streets are streets of gold. See, kamai, bof, bof, yi, ambay, mivunja, exhaust pipe, yet. A nice road. Ambay, metengenezwa, kwa almasi, na the habu. And please, when you get there, uzu jaribu kuenda na jembe, na kwanza kuchimba chimba barabara za mbinguni na kuchukua dhahabu na kuweka kumfuko some people are known to be so greedy watapata lami ya mbinguni wanafikiri kama hii lami ya kutoka kitale kienda suji pale gani huko alafu na ni dhahabu hii ni dhahabu tuko tunaambia hii ndio hii leta hiyo shisiri kuku kuchimba lami ya mbinguni na kuweka ndani ya mfuko shame on you and that's why you will miss on this trip because jesus is not going to make a mistake and take you so greedy. Akupeleke mbinguni kwenye kwa haribu tama kurudia uku. May God bless you and enable you to know that he loves you so much that he wants to be with you. He loves you so dearly. He's waiting for this wedding to take place when you and him shall be united together as sons and daughters of the Most High God. And as he comes, he'll take you home. Final text is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Pastor, unajua hiyo. So many of First Thessalonians chapter four. You are a pastor, you should know the text by now. Go ahead. First I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep. Listen your sorrow as others who mm -hmm. have no hope. Yep. So if we believe that Jesus died and yep. rose again, uh -huh. yep. even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For well, this we say to you by the word uh -huh. of the Lord, yep. that when we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven uh -huh. with a shout, yep. with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, uh -huh. and the dead in Christ will raise us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad. Musi Father, you came here anyway. Darling, don't be worried. I love you. I'm going home so that I can 
organize a home for you. That where you are, you can be with me all the time. These are the words of Jesus Christ, the bridegroom, talking to his bride-to-be. Usiwa na wasuwasi, omwanji. Ningwanja temo no. Tika wao no, ngeende, niende ni organize. Nyumba nyu, huko jumbi nguni. Ili kwamba hivi karibu na pokuja, niwe pamoja na we. How many among you want to be that ready bride that when Jesus comes, he can go with you to heaven? Can I see by raising of your hands? And I'm praying. Pastor Gidinji, please come here and pray. Minyoka mwangu? Is Gidinji here? Gidinji, unesa wacha siyasa kidogo ukibia hapa. Pray for this congregation and pray particularly for the family. Pray for this congregation in general and pray in particular for the family. I say, here. Okay, okay. Here. 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 I'm just uh, five years younger than him. That's true. I <laughs> uh, love this ministry. Yes. Do you love this ministry? Very much. In heaven, when Mzee gets there, Gidinji was saying that he was only around 84. Mm -hmm. When he goes to heaven, he'll be an eternal youth. He will not be 500,000 uh, years old. I will say, I will say, 500 and <laughs> no he'll be an eternal youth that's what eternal life is all about amen to some amen to pate maombi nina naomba familia mkuja hapa mbele baba katika jina la yesu kristo uinuliwe uidimiwe mfalme wetu wajabu kwa sababu wewe ni mwema kwetu siku zote Baba yetu asante sana kwa sababu ya uhai, uzima na wokofu ambao umetia ndani ya kila moja wetu. Mfalme wa ajabu tunaelewa ya kwamba uhai wetu na pumzi zetu zimikononi mwako. Kuishi kwetu, kutembea kwetu na kufika wakati kama huu kwetu kuna tegemea nguvu zako mungu wetu. Kwa hivyo tunapo simama, tunapo inua mikono yetu juu Tunapo inua sauti zetu juu, tunaona mambo makubwa ambao Yesu Kristo umetenda ndani yetu. Amen. Mungu wetu tumekuja hapa ili kuweza kusimama na familia hii ya mzee Nyabeta ambao Yesu miaka michache waliachwa na mama na sasa hivi tuko kwa sherehe ya kuweza kumpumzisha baba yao. Asante kwa neno la tumaini. Asante kwa neno rafaraja. Asante kwa neno la kuvuta machozi ambalo tumelisikia kupitia kwa mtumishi wako Pastor Dan. Falme wa ajabu mwanadamu aliyezaliwa na mwanamke hapa duniani siku zake sio nyingi. Tunachanua kama maua kisha baadaye tunakauka Yesu. Baba wa bingu tuomba ya kwamba katika stage hiyo na prosesi hiyo Yesu kapate kuwa pamoja na kila moja wetu. Ele yetu kuna familia ya mzenya beta. Kuna vijana wake, kuna wasichana wake, kuna wajukuu wote. Baba tunawaleta mbele zako. Tunajua jinsi ilivyo nzito wakati ya mbapo baba amewaondokea. Tunajua ya kwamba silaishu hata tuseme na mnagani. Hata tuyasome mafungu mengi na mnagani wakati nyama na mwili zinapokuwa zikiachana kuna kakitu ambacho baba tuna feel katika maisha yetu baba yetu tunataka tuwaambie watoto hawa ya kwamba machozi ambao wametoa tangu mzee huyu alale ni lugha ambao Yesu Kristo unaielewa machozi ambao wametoa tangu mzee huyu apumzike baba umewapanguza na neema zako za upendo. Amen. Washike mkono na uendelee kuahidi ya kwamba baba 
wa majane na mayatima anabaki kuwa ni we Yesu Kristo. Utabaki kuwa pamoja na wao mahali ambapo baba angetenda Yesu Kristo utatenda kwa niaba ya mzazi wao. Kuna Gladys ambaye yuko Amerikani ambaye anaendelea kutufuatilia katika mitandao Yesu. Naomba umjumulishe katika maombi haya. Utie nguvu wape tumaini wote waambie bado kitambo kidogo yeye ajaye atakuja wala hatakauya tena ujipe moyo vijana wasichana wa mzee huyo naomba ya kwamba mshike kanisa mshike imani asionekane mtoto hata mmoja ambaye ataenda kando ya imani eti kwa sababu wazazi hawapo zawadi kubwa ambao sasa tunaweza kumpatia baba yetu na mama yetu ambao wametuacha ni kukaa ndani ya Yesu Kristo milele na hata milele baba bariki waumini wote ambao tumekuja wametoka mbali na karibu asante Yesu kwa sababu wametumia hela zao kuweza kuja kusimama pamoja na familia hii wabariki baba wakati ukifika waondoke kwenda makwao tunawatakia safari njema wafike salama Yesu endelea na programu hii ukiishikilia mpaka tufike mwisho katika jina la baba mwana na roho mtakatifu na watu wote tuseme amen, amen. Mungu awabariki thank you <coughs> asante sana asante pastor